So today's topic is about the presbyopia. You know that the presbyopia is actually an age-related disorder, right? So uh, with the passage of time, right? As I said, this is an age-related related disorder. So with the passage of time, there is a decrease. There is a progressively decrease. There is a progressively decline in the amplitude of accommodation in the eye. So that decrease, that decline of the amplitude of accommodation in the eye is called the press myopia. You know very well about the accommodation that the increase in plus power of the eye, the increase in plus power of the uh, crystalline lens, uh, if I make it very specific, that increase in plus power of the crystalline lens is called accommodation. So in this video, we will learn different methods for the correction of the press myopia. And the amplitude of accommodation is actually the ability of the eye that how much accommodation an eye can exert, right? This is amplitude of accommodation. So I can repeat that the progressively decrease or progressively decline in the amplitude of accommodation is called the press biopia. And now we will discuss the methods. We have many types of press biopia, like we have incipient press biopia, we have premature press biopia, we have manifest press biopia, and we have absolute press biopia. We will discuss in the further video, in the upcoming videos about the different types of press biopia. But in this, in this video, we will learn about the different methods for the correction of the press biopia. So the first method is called the tentative method. So now we will discuss about the tentative method, which is the first method for the correction of press biopia, right? But before learning the tentative method of the press biopia, make sure that your patient is six by six, that your patient is e metro, that your patient's light rays are exactly falling on the sensitive layer of the retina at distance. Your patient should be six by six at distance. Your patient should be e metro at distance. Right? Make sure if you want to prescribe press biopic correction, if you want to prescribe near add to your patient, then first make sure this is very important. Make sure that your patient does not need any distant prescription. Your patient is six by six with glasses or without glasses, right? At distance, your patient should be six by six. Your patient's visual acuity should be six by six or your patient should be e-metro, right? And then you will prescribe any press biopic correction or any near ad and remember that the near ad is always in plus spherical form right this is very important point that your reading glasses prescription can be in plus can be in minus can be in sphere can be in cylinder but remember that your near ad i'm talking about the near ad your near ad should be in plus spherical form right this is very important and now we will discuss about the tentative method the tentative method is actually very easy right this is totally age related right if, if the you know the press biopic age of a uh, patient is 40 years press paper starts when you uh, actually starts uh, the press paper will starts at the age of 40 years you know at the age of 40 years the expected near ad would be plus one right and if your age is 45 years then it would be plus 1.25 to plus 1.5 right and at the age of 50 years the near end would be plus 2 right and at 55 years of age the expected near end value would be plus 2.25 to plus 2.5 five zero right and at the age of 60 years the expected near end value would be 2.75 to plus three so these are expected values for the near end in different age groups you know that the press by starts at the age of 40 years right and these are expected values uh, as i said at 40 years you will give plus one 45 years you will give plus 1.25 to plus 1.5 at 50 years of age you will prescribe plus two at 55 years of age, you will prescribe plus 2.25 to plus 2.50. And at the age of 60 years, you will prescribe 2.75 or plus 3. But as I said, as I have mentioned, that your patient should be 6 by 6, right? If your patient has any defective error, if your patient is myope, then correct 
his or her myopia. If your patient is hypero, then correct his or her hypermetropia. If your patient is astigmatic at distance, then you have to correct his astigmatism at distance. And then you will prescribe the near ad, right? For example, we can solve it. An example, if the distance correction of a patient is pose minus plus 2.00, right? So first, we will put plus 2 before both eyes. If the prescription in both eyes is plus 2 spherical, then if the age of the patient is 40 years, then what is the expected near at? That is plus 1, right? So these glasses are for distance. And after wearing these glasses, the patient visual acuity is 6 by 6. And now the patient will wear plus 2 spherical before his both eyes, right? And you will put a reading chart in his hand at his desired working distance, like 40 centimeter, like 30 centimeter. In different age group, we have different working distance, right? So suppose at 40 centimeter, the patient is holding his reading chart, right? And now we will add plus near add plus one, right? So this is near add, this is distance correction. So for the reading glasses, we have to add this near add in the distance correction, in the spherical correction of the distance prescription, right? So the reading glasses prescription would be plus three. So this is called the tentative method, right? For the correction of the presbyopia. And now we will discuss about the second method, which is called the dynamic retinoscopy. So our second method for the correction of presbyopia is dynamic retinoscopy, right? So there are two different types for the dynamic, for the retinoscopy. The first one is called the static retinoscopy and the second one is called the dynamic retinoscopy. Now we'll discuss that why static retinoscopy is called so. You know that at in static retinoscopy, the accommodation of the patient should be at rest, right? The accommodation should be at rest in static retinoscopy. But in the dynamic retinoscopy, the accommodation of the patient should be at its maximum, right? Because while we are performing dynamic retinoscopy, the target of the patient should be at near, right? more or less at 40 centimeter and the patient will look at the least line the smallest line which is of n6 which is the smallest line the patient will read that line which is n6 the smallest line and when the patient will look at n6 the accommodation will be at maximum right so we will perform the retinoscopy at 40 centimeter but you know that at press biopic age the accommodation is almost gone right but the patient should be targeted at near at or more or less 40 centimeter so we will perform retinoscopy at 40 centimeter right but make sure that the distance correction is already placed before the patient's eye and for example our distance correction is plus 3 in both eyes so plus 3 is placed before the patient's eye already and now we will perform the dynamic retinoscopy at 40 centimeter right so we will perform uh, retinoscopy at 40 centimeter now the formula is near add is equal to working distance minus neutral points right so what is actually the working distance working distance the distance from which we are performing the retinoscopy which is 40 centimeter and what are neutral points so when the distance correction is placed before the patient's eye we will see the reflex in the patient's pupil when the correction is there when the distance correction is there right we will see the reflex and we will find the width moment you know very well about the width and against moment before the patient's eye in the patient's pupil right so we will find width moment so the question here is that why we will find faith movement, right? So the answer is, you know that in three different cases, we find faith movement in the patient's pupil. The first one is in emetropia, we find faith movement. In hypermetropia, we find faith movement. In myopia, less than working distance, we find faith movement. So here, 
because we are prescribing press biopic correction we are prescribing near ad so near ad is always in plus spherical form so we are prescribing plus spherical lens to the patients so that's mean there is a deficiency of the plus power in the patient's eye so that's why we are prescribing plus power so if the plus power is deficient then automatically we will find with moment in the patient's pupil so we will find with moment and if we find with moment in the patient's pupil then we will neutralize that with moment with the help of the plus spherical lenses right you know the rule of the retinoscopy if we find if we find with moment in the patient's pupil we will use plus power plus lenses to neutralize and if we find against movement then we will neutralize with the help of the minus spherical lenses so in this condition actually our patient's eye is deficient for the plus power we are prescribing plus power so there is deficiency of the plus power in the patient's eye so there would be with movement and we will neutralize that with movement with the help of the plus spherical lenses right so the neutral point would be suppose uh, the neutral point was uh, plus one with the help of the plus one spherical our patient was neutralized right and what is the working distance 40 centimeter right so we have our working distance is in four centimeter form and our neutral point is in dioptric form right i can write it for you so our work neutral point is in dioptric form and working distance is in centimeter so now we actually need a value in the dioptric form so we will convert that centimeter into dioptric form for that we have a formula d is equal to 1 over f d is actually the power the dioptric power so what is f is equal f is actually the distance right which is 40 centimeter so 1 over 40 but 40 is in centimeter to convert that 40 centimeter into meter we will divide 40 with the 100 right and the answer would be so the answer would be 2.5 diopters so our working distance was 2.5 right now we will deduct our neutral point from the working distance so the working distance is 2.5 and our neutral point is plus 1 right so now we will solve it plus 2.5 plus minus minus 1 so the answer would be if you deduct 1 from 2.5 the answer would be 1.50 so this is actually our near add for the press biopic correction right with the help of the dynamic retinoscopy hope you understand and now our third type is amplitude of accommodation right how we can find near add how we can find press biopic correction with the help of the amplitude of accommodation